Hello everyone. I thought it was time to do an updated skincare tutorial because I haven't done one in like three or four years. The video is super old, the packaging is old, and everybody gets confused. So time for the new updated sexy black and chrome packaging tutorial. Now as many of you guys know, if you watch, I am not a doctor and I am not an esthetician, but I am a makeup artist with 26 years of experience in makeup and skincare. So about... <sighs> 2014, 2015 maybe, I decided to create my own skincare line from scratch. I met somebody at a trade show in Las Vegas, flew to Dallas, um, told them exactly what I wanted. I told them about my skin, um, what I didn't want in it, and if there was anything that I didn't know about that was coming up that people were, it was gonna be a no-no word, then don't put it in there, right? So together with the chemists at that contract manufacturer and myself, we created an entire line of plant-based, aloe-based, organic, paraben-free, fragrance-free, cruelty-free skincare. Now that is a mouthful. If you are like me, German, Irish, English, Scottish, or even if you're not like me, and you have sensitive skin, you're going to absolutely die for my skincare line. There are so many brands out there working at Neiman's and Dillard's and Saks forever um, that have perfume in their stuff. People want to feel the she-she, foo-foo, oh, it smells so good, with the perfumes going on, but those perfumes irritate your skin, especially mine. Maybe not everybody, but for me especially. <clears throat> a lot of things have cheap filler oils in them, um, and a lot of things just are too active for me. Not that I don't believe in act active skincare, I just can't personally use it every day. So I use other brands like retinols, um, I love SkinCeuticals Glycolic 10 in the evening, but I just can't beat on it continuously because those things really flare up my rosacea. So let's get to it. Let me show you what I have to offer because it's freaking awesome. And download the app, Gentry Kelly Cosmetics, or go online, gentrykelly.com, and read the reviews. And if you use my skincare, please write a review because nobody believes me that it works this good until they try it for themselves, unless they read it from you guys. So please go write the reviews. Very, very easy on the app. Let's start with the morning routine. The very first product that I use every single morning is the Exfoliate. Our Exfoliate is a manual scrub with a cleanser built in. So it's two things, one bottle, okay? This one has aloe, so it helps calm and soothe. A lot of exfoliators like make my face feel like fire. One day I had so much dead skin, I was like, I'm gonna use Sean. So I used his, which is Jack Black, which works great on his skin because he's a dude and his skin's thicker and he's not sensitive like me. My face was on fire for two days. So think of it like you're at the hardware store and you're looking at the different coarse grits of sandpaper. Think of mine to like a light or fine grit sa sandpaper and think of St. Ives as like a coarse grit sandpaper. So please don't be using that on your face, that grind, those grounded up apricot shells or like glass shards on your skin and tear on your skin. This has a rounded jojoba ester. So jojoba is that stuff that's spelled jojoba, okay, that y'all all say wrong, um, but it's a little wax bead that they created for me and it gently polishes because it's rounded so it's not gonna tear on your skin. Um, and aloe helps calm and soothe the skin. It's got lemon, and you guys probably don't know this, but lemon helps with blackheads. So if you're like me and you have blackheads down here and here, maybe you sleep in your makeup or you have once or twice in your life. This is gonna be really good to de-gunk de the pores. So you think of that rounded jojoba ester, right? You're polishing and sanding down all the flakes, all the texture on your skin, making your pores, lines, and wrinkles look less obvious. If you've come into the store, we've done this on your hand. So you can see the difference in your hands after one exfoliation. But while you're doing that, the lemon is getting down into the pore and it's a natural, natural antibacterial, antiseptic, and just kind of detoxing and degunking the pores. Plus, if you think of the pore like this and all the dead skin piled on top because you don't exfoliate, then all the makeup, dirt, and oil gets trapped down there. But if you remove that, then it can breathe and then everything is released. I think your makeup goes on so much smoother when you exfoliate in the morning, which is why I recommend to exfoliate in the morning versus in the evening. I always say skincare is an opinion and everybody has a different one, but I'm always right and they're always wrong. So just go with what I say. But anyway, try it for yourself. See what you think. I recommend to exfoliate in the morning. Your makeup will stay on longer and it will go on smoother. So if you sit in my chair and I ask you, do you exfoliate? And you say, yes. The second I touch your skin, I know if you're a liar because I can feel it. It feels like a lizard belly. 
you ever touched a lizard belly? I used to be a big tomboy growing up, I used to catch lizards. But the texture of the bottom side of a lizard's belly is what it feels like if your face is not exfoliated. So there's a reason why this little guy is the number two item in the entire line out of, I don't even know how many products we have, 350-ish, 400 products. <clears throat> Actually, if you could count Kevin Murphy in there too, it's close to 450. This guy right here is number two. Men can use it, women can use it, skin is skin. If you're sensitive, this one's for you. Even if you're not sensitive and you have a lot of texture on your skin, in two or three days, you're gonna be like, holy smoke, swear have I been my whole life? So anyway, step number one in the morning. Let me just make sure there's no comments. By the way, this is gonna turn into an IGTV if you missed this whole thing. Um, it'll be an IGTV at the end, um, but it's alive currently, so I can answer questions, and that'll be saved to the IGTV in case anyone watching has the same questions. Um, exfoliate is the bomb. I love that shit. Let's see what else. Sold. Laura says sold. Sold. The highest better. Be careful. Y'all Johnny's going to steal it from you. Tell him it grows boobs or something. Say so there's like estrogen in there. And if he uses that exfoliate, he's going to, he's going to get boobs. He's going to get, um, man boobs. Um, because your husband's or your wife's, whatever you're into, they're going to steal it and they're going to love it. And Sean was using mine. I was like, how the hell am I going through a two in three freaking weeks? It was because Sean was squirting out half the bottle in one use. I was like, get your own shit. So I went back to his jackpot, told his ass I was going to start charging him. Next up, step two in the morning is quench. This is quench. It used to be in a gray bottle with a pump. Y'all were like, please make it into a spray. I love a little spray spray. So I did for $25,000. You got it in the spray, so you're welcome. That's how much that cost me to buy new packaging. Anyway, I do it like this. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? I go one, two, three, four, and it's a really thick gel water. I can even catch it right here. It doesn't feel like a normal extrusion or toner that we used in the 80s and 90s if you're old like me. So we all, all used to use Clinique Clarifying Lotion or Seabreeze, depending on how much your mom was willing to spend on your skincare at 14. Those things have alcohol and witch hazel in them. Unless you have cystic acne and you're intentionally trying to dry out your skin, don't use products like that. Instead, use a hydrating toner. So a lot of people say, I don't understand the importance of a toner. Do I really need it? Okay, well, this is what a toner does. A toner is like your eight glasses of water for the skin. It's your supplement. So if you drink too many vodka martinis or me last night with the Almost Famous from Cafe Annie, I had two, which is more than I normally drink. My mouth is dry. I woke up, my skin's a little bit more dry. This is going to help get you to where you need to be and help with absorption of your serums and your creams. So with the serum, like I said, four pumps, you do not need to use a cotton pad. Cotton pads and sponges are so wasteful to cosmetics and skincare. Don't do it. One less thing to buy at CVS, okay? Use this little guy, like I told you, four pumps, rub it in, do it immediately after getting out of the shower. While your pores are open from the steamy shower or when you wash your face at the sink with warm water, the pores are open, the toner's gonna soak it up. It's got aloe, it's got cucumber and lavender flower water in it. Very calming and soothing to the redness if you have rosacea or eczema, psoriasis, it makes you feel so good and your skin feels so soft. But like I said, it just helps with absorption of products. How does it help with absorption of products? It helps make your skin cells plump up full of water like a grape, okay? If you drink too much or don't drink enough water, drink alcohol too much, your skin cells are gonna be dehydrated like a raisin. So half of it is what you do to your body internally, the other half is what you do externally. If you're eating trash food, you're not drinking water, your skin's not gonna look its best. If you're hydrating, which is like almost impossible with my job, but I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try it right now. This is, I've had this thing for like eight days. It's hard for me to be drinking water all day. I just don't love drinking water. But listen, I'm gonna live on the deserted island way longer than all of you guys. This is my entire life. I've been prepping to go without water. So anyway, that's why my skin looks a little bit more dehydrated and why I don't produce as much oil too. Your whole body is like a system and they get like oil for your car. You gotta keep everything going. You gotta drink a lot of water and it will show in your skin big time. But the quench is a good supplement on the outside to help everything absorb in. It's kind of like when you put a head of lettuce in a bowl of water. I don't know if you guys know this, but this is like a really good life hack that everyone should know about. Um, if you want a salad, but all of your lettuce is wilted or your celery or whatever, Fill up a bowl of ice water, stick it in there for 10 minutes, and the celery or the lettuce becomes crispy again, especially romaine lettuce. I love romaine lettuce mixed with my bib lettuce. So good when you soak it in water first. So that's what you're doing to your skin with the toner. And again, the quench has lavender flower water that helps kind of calm. It's got aloe, also calming, and then cucumber. 
Okay, let's see. Please post this. I had a call. I missed a lot of this. Don't worry. This is going to be an IGTV. And if you don't know where IGT IGTV is, I don't know what to tell you about life. I'm an old lady. If I can figure it out, y'all can too. Go to my homepage of Instagram. You'll see five little icons. The center one is a television icon. That's how you find all my videos. Shocking to me how people don't know what IGTV is. Next up is Revive. This little guy is also a customer favorite. A lot of people don't know the purpose of serums. Serums are not must-haves, right? Serums are going to be like taking vitamins. Think of like your toner for your eight glasses of water and think about your moisturizer as your food for the face. Using a serum is like a supplement. If you look in the mirror and you say, damn, honey, I am fine, you probably don't need a serum, okay? But if you look in the mirror and you see dark circles, puffy under eyes, and redness, you're gonna love Revive. If you don't really have any major issues and you just want to protect yourself from the sun, an antioxidant is um, Skin Cuticle CE Ferulic. If you're really sensitive, you can try the Floritin or they have a new one called Silly Marin. Silly name. I tried that. It has salicylic acid in it. I really liked it. I'm not trained super well on that, but I think it's more for acneic skin. Um, but I liked the Silly Marin best because my sensitive skin didn't love the CE Ferulic, but the Silly Marin worked for me. Anyway, use whatever serum you want double bump if you want to or use one in the morning one at night but i love to use this one in the morning because i am a freaking sweller if i get on the airplane i'm gonna actually show you guys my feet on my story when i get on the airplane i my ankles get this big it's like elephantitis up the foot it looks like i'm a diabetic seriously under eyes i carry everyone's luggage under my eyes i cannot travel without revive this stuff the cucumber the arnica the aloe, everything is calming and soothing to my rosacea, uh, but most importantly, Arnica helps lighten bruises. So if you are dark here due to allergies, maybe you had COVID, the flu, and you've been rubbing on your nose and rubbing on your eye or being too rough while taking off your makeup, Arnica is like a life problem solver. It is awesome. Um, the cucumber, as we all know, nobody has time to put cucumbers on their eyes, fresh cut cucumber. So this has cucumber in it. It'll really help depuff. If the puffiness is not always there and it's not hereditary and you were born with it and it's fat, three fat sacks that have accumulated fat under there, then no, this shit is not gonna work for that. Or if genetically you have darker skin under your eyes, like Middle Eastern or Southern Indian, it is not going to get rid of that. This is due to bruising, dark circles due to bruising or rubbing and tugging on the eye area or sinus pressure, this is amazing for that. So swelling, dark circles, rosacea. Also, if you've had a peel done to your face, this is what we give to people who come into BCRN and get the, the peels. They're super hypersensitive, everything burns after. This is amazing to calm, soothe, and heal inflammation or just mad skin overall. Really good to use after a sunburn. It's like tussin'. You know how they say in the South, you put some tussin' on it? This is your tussin' right here. Let's see what else. I know you guys have a ton of questions coming through here. I was trying not to get um, sidetracked. Okay, travel size spray, please. I'm probably not gonna do a travel size spray, but I am working on packets for the other skincare. So stay tuned on that. Don't have a full answer, but we might be coming out with packets soon. Um, Revive is fantastic for sensitive skin and rosacea. She is correct. We have another person saying Revive is life. It is, I know. And then someone else says, it has changed my skin for the better since I switched to your skincare over a year ago. I'm not even paying these people to say this. They're actually giving me their money and saying nice things. Crazy. Brandy says, just buy it all. Gentry, keep taking all my money. Don't worry, I'm really good at matching out cards. Another person says, Revive is amazing. Just refilled my Revive yesterday. Your lip color. I'm gonna be putting all the colors I have on my face inside of the photo description talking about the products too. But I am wearing Sedona Clay with uh, Sunset and Cabo. It is um, actually everything that I'm wearing on my face right now is from the Safaris and Corals collection, which is a separate IGTV video because I'm dressed like I'm going to a safari today for our anniversary sale. Okay. Let's see what else. No more questions right now. So now we've talked about exfoliating and cleansing your skin all in one step in the morning. Four pumps of the toner, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We do Revive. Sorry, bad reception. They lost me for a minute. Then we have Revive, which is a face and an eye serum. I do recommend during the day to keep it out of your upper eyelid area. Don't put any moisturizer or serums here during the day because it'll make your eyeshadow crease. So I just put it down here and everywhere else. Now we're going to talk about moisturizers. We have three different ones. I'm using Hydrate right now because it's summer and I like to move to the Enrich in the winter. Let me explain the difference between the three skincare items. Balance has jojoba and avocado oil, the closest things to your natural oil in your skin, and hyaluronic acid to give you a glow, but not an oily glow, just a hydrated glow. Um, I use that on someone who's got a really heavy T-zone or 
oily all over. It helps trick your skin to feel quenched so you don't produce as much oil. Hydrate is the most common. Excuse me, this is the one that has lavender in it, mango butter and avocado oil. I like this for someone who's combo, but not too much oil on the center, but probably pretty dry on the edge. The person who gets out of the shower, if they don't put something on their face right away, they feel really tight. That's more of a combination to dry skin. I would put you in hydrate. It's like the lightest lavender smell and it's not perfume, it's the actual oil, so it's amazing. And then Enrich feels a little bit more buttery, a lot thicker in texture, not as thick as Creme de la Mer, if you're familiar with that, or Nivea in a drugstore comparison, not quite that thick, but it's really great for eczema, psoriasis, postmenopausal, anyone who doesn't really produce much oil at all, you're going to be obsessed with it. But it does mix in and blend into your skin and absorb a lot better than Creme de la Mer, which is harder because you gotta like warm it up first. Um, but I had someone who has eczema the other day come in and said, like your skincare has totally changed my life. And I can tell a huge difference in her skin than when she started coming to us like three or four years ago. And I hope she watches this because I just saw you on Sunday. Um, but anyway, it is awesome, awesome, awesome. You're going to love the moisturizers. All three have hyaluronic acid. All have different levels of oil, some not as rich and some heavier like shea butter. So anyway, it's all listed on my website for which moisturizer is for which skin type. And in the customer service section at the very bottom of my website, there's a skincare steps as there as well, so you can read it in more depth. Um, but that covers the morning time routine. Four steps, we have exfoliate, toner, serum, and cream. Now, if you're really, really oily, you are going to be obsessed with the new Help Me I'm Pole Mattifying Gel Primer. I cannot describe the texture to you and have you really understand until you feel it. But every time you come in and you ask, you're like, I have really oily skin and big pores. I put this on the back of your hand, be like, wow, that is the coolest texture. Like it feels like velvet, matte, and silicone, I guess. I don't know how to describe the, the feeling of it, but it feels awesome. But the way it works is it fills in all the pores. So you can put it here on the forehead. If you have a lot of texture in your skin, acneic skin, I always put this on before I put on the mineral liquid powder foundation. Holy smokes. Everything will stay matte, 12 hour wear, super awesome. If you have an outdoor event and you have a heavy T-zone, this is gonna keep your makeup on longer too. In the beginning when this first came out, we would say not to put tinted primer on top, but all my customers were saying, but I love the tinted primer and I love that stuff too. And they were wearing it together and it works. So now we're saying you can wear this underneath your tinted primer, or if you're really oily, just go from this to the mineral liquid and then set with mattifying oil blot powder. This stuff is awesome. Help me, I'm poor. Let's see, I do the same, hydrate during the summer and enrich during the winter, killer combo, your skincare is legit. I have rosacea, rosacea and sensitive skin. I'm glad I'm reading this because when I say this is an IGTV, these videos, I mean, sorry, these comments are gonna go bye-bye. So I'm saying it out loud so people who watch this later can see that all these people who have rosacea are commenting on how awesome this stuff is. I mean, whenever I do my tutorials and I don't have foundation on, you can barely tell that I have rosacea. The way you know that I have it is if I eat spicy foods or I drink wine, my chest and my face gets flushed. But for the most part, you can't even tell I have it. There might be a child or a nanny about to come in here, so I apologize. Let's talk about nighttime. Listen how easy this is. Most brands oversell skincare and they sell you so many things and you need to have, you think you need to have 85 steps in the morning at night. I know that if you educate your client and you keep it simple, they're actually gonna use it. And when they use it, they keep coming back for more. But if you overwhelm your client, they're not gonna do anything. A lady came to me for a lesson and she had a spreadsheet with 67 products on it that she was sold by her esthetician. That is too much shit. That is too overwhelming. Keep it simple. You wanna see your nighttime routine? Undress face wash and makeup remover. You go back to your toner. You go back to your serum. And you go back to your cream. Easy. Four steps. The only thing I changed from morning to night is you cannot exfoliate twice a day, plus there's no makeup remover in here. So I switched off exfoliate and I changed it out for undress. So undress is step one in the evening. We also have makeup wipes. I don't have any here because I ran out. But makeup wipes are like taking a sponge bath when you're in the hospital. You're not gonna get as clean with the makeup wipes, but it's better than you sleeping in it. And if you're an alcoholic like myself, you can keep them at your bedside, at least you can wipe it off, okay? But I don't even do that anymore. I'll just sleep in it, or if I'm a good girl, I go to, I go to the bathroom and I wipe it off. Anyway, this takes off mascara, our long-wearing face makeup, dirt, and oil. Your face feels squeaky clean, but not overly dry. It's got eucalyptus oil in it. It smells very medicinal, very clean, not a perfume kind of smell. And it actually comes out clear. I'm gonna see if I can show you this on the video. I always tell my clients, um, it talks to you. 
our cleanser talks to you. But if you really hear voices, you should probably just go see a doctor for that. I'm using some of the water from my water bottle. Let's see if this works. So see how it comes out clear like this? And what I mean by talking to you, when you add water to it, let me turn this way, it turns white and foamy. That's when you know the lathering agent that removes the makeup has started to work. So it goes from clear to white. And if you're doing it at the sink at night like this, you can see it go from clear to white to beige or brown, whatever color your skin is. But as soon as you see that face base coming off, you'll see the serum, not the serum, the formula turn the color of your skin. And that's when you know it has been taken off and broken down off your skin. Then after you see that, you close your eyes. And if you use our Infinity Length Mascara, which I've been raving about all over Instagram because it's freaking awesome. And now that I've been raving about it, it's been like the number one product the last couple of days. But it's the kind that dries in tubes. So you do not need a special eye makeup remover like we did in the past. We used to use long comb Definacils or take the day off from Clinique, those really oily cleansers. You don't need that with our stuff. Because when you do this to your eyes, all of your long wearing eyeliner, eyeshadow, and mascara slides off and your mascara comes off in tubes. It looks like your eyelashes fell out. And then you rinse and your skin feels amazing. And it smells good. And I kind of feel like a minty feel on my hand right now. Anyway. It's awesome, it's the best cleanser. If you use a Clarisonic brush, I know they've discontinued those. That's why I created that, because I used to use the Clarisonic brush. I don't anymore, but I had to have a cleanser that foamed up and lathered, or I didn't feel like it was cleaning my face. Anyway, great product. Men or women could use it. It does have a makeup remover in it, but for a dude who just has oil on his skin, or he wears a tinted sunscreen, this is amazing um, for the guys as well. Then you follow with how many pounds of the toner? Four, Quattro in Espanol. Follow with the serum, face, and eye, but at night, you can put this up here. So if you have hooded or puffy eyelids right here, put this on at night all over. I do not want you to put this on during the day on your eyelid, keep it down here, but at night you can slather it all over. And then your moisturizer. So I use Hydrate both morning and night, but in the winter, I switch over to Enrich, but there's nothing wrong with you using Enrich both morning and, sorry, um, for all skin types at night. Sorry, I almost said that wrong. Enrich can be used for all skin types at night because while your skin cells are renewing while you're sleeping, you can boost up your moisture, okay? If you use glycolic 10, which is a glycolic acid, really good for sensitive skin to help increase uh, cell turnover like chemically, that stuff would go on after you moisturize. Same thing with retinols. And keep the retinols out of your eye area too. Your skin's like a sponge, so stop about here because if you get it too close to your eye, it burns like a son of a bitch. I've gotten it too close and it on the insides of my eye and it just like crusts up and turns red. So keep the retinols out of the eye area, kind of stop through here um, and put it on after your moisturizer. Let's see if there's any questions here. Let's see. We already talked about lipstick color. Yes, uh, can't go a day without the mattifying powder. Have you tried the, Jill, have you tried this one? I know you're oily. You need to try Help Me on Pour. If you haven't bought her, Brandy's trying to give them a hand up what I want to talk about next. She's telling them to buy, uh, y'all to buy the eye balm, but we haven't talked about that yet. We're getting to it. I bought the four pack of moisturizer da, 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 and I have, and I skin have, they usually still have bottles of the exfoliant in the previous sale. Does it foam? Okay. So Catherine is asking, does the undress foam? It lathers. It doesn't get real bubbly and foamy. If you turn it on the Clarisonic brush, it will though, because that thing starts vibrating and then there's a lot of bubbles. Which retinol do you recommend for sensitive skin? I like SkinCeuticals. Um, I've tried the tretinoin type family of retinoids before and it's so intense, even the 0.25, but the SkinCeuticals to me is not as aggressive. So if you wanna go with a retinoid, retinol, I would start with the, I think it's the 0.3 is a really good place to start if you're a beginner. And then maybe start like twice a week, increase to three times a week. Um, and then you can boost your way up as you buy new tubes and go to the 0.5. And then when you're ready, you can go to the 1.0. So you have to start off light. I'm like, usually the personality, like go for the gold, go hard, go all the way tried that before, you cannot with this stuff. If you're sensitive, you gotta ease your way into it. But the women who sit in my chair that have no pores, no lines and wrinkles on their face, and I'm like, God, how do you look so good at like 60 or 70 you don't have any wrinkles? They're like, I've been using retinol for 37 years. It really does make a big difference in your skin. It'll help with sun damage. It just encourages the cell turnover and it pushes off the old stuff faster. So lines, wrinkles, and pores, 
everything just looks smaller if you're on that stuff for years and years too. Of course, there's a lot of like skin treatments that you can do like a VI peel, which has retinoids in it as well um, with hydroquinone and all kinds of cocktails of deliciousness that makes your face peel off like a snake. I have those on my story highlights too. That'll kind of kickstart you if you haven't done anything for you, uh, for your skin in a long time. Um, and then you can kind of follow up once you heal with um, retinoids later. Okay, let's see. Please talk about eye cream. I'm getting there. What sunscreen do you recommend for oily skin? Oh my God, I'm so glad you brought up sunscreen. Um, I'm gonna talk about sunscreen in just one second. So I'm gonna get there, but I want to finish talking about my nighttime routine so I don't jump around too much. So this is the Bombshell. This is a new product, and this sister is already in the top 10 because everybody loving this shit. I used to work for Bobby Brown, and they made something called the Cucumber Eye Balm. Okay, I love that stuff. They made the jar way too big. I sold it to every customer and it would take people two or three years to run out. Bobby Brown discontinued it and now that I'm in manufacturing and I understand, the numbers weren't there to continue to produce that product because they made it too big. So listen, I may or may not have copied it and brought her back to life, but in my brand. A little bit different ingredients. This one has sesame oil and it has um, the Moroccan oil called Argan oil. If you guys are familiar with the Moroccan hair products, they're very reparative to broken, color-treated ends, whatever. Um, it helps repair the hair shaft. I don't know exactly the technology or how they claim it, but I do know that the Moroccan oil is argan oil. It's so intense, it's so rich. We use it on our hair, so why not use it on our eyelashes and eyebrows? So we use and abuse our eye, the hair around our eyes um, just because we wear so much makeup most of us are on our eye area. So this I created to soften the skin around the eyes and condition the hair. So it does make your lashes grow thicker, not longer. Babe Lash makes them grow longer. Look at my post from yesterday about that. But this makes them thicker because now the hair isn't getting brittle and snapping off when you're removing your mascara. This is like a hair conditioner with Moroccan oil for your eyelashes. I also put it on my eyebrows too and all the skin around. Now, if you're watching this video, tell me and tell everybody in the crowd does this shit not make your skin feel different on the next day? Less lines and wrinkles the freaking next day. It feels like a baby's butt. Like when I rub on Liam's stomach or his back, that's how my skin feels around my freaking eye area. Not to sound creepy, it feels like a baby's ass. So soft. And I don't really believe, honestly, in a lot of eye creams out there because if you look at the ingredients of most eye creams, they match what's in your face cream. Maybe they don't have the retinols or the um, products that like irritate your eyes. But if you look at the ingredients of most eye creams, you're gonna see what's in my face cream. There is not a miracle product that they put in all eye creams that makes it turn into an eye cream. It is marketing, right? So I came out with an eye balm because I do believe in the eye balms, but I do not want you to wear this during the day because your makeup is gonna be like a mudslide. So only at night or your days off when you're not wearing makeup, freaking am obsessed with this stuff it's normally i believe 48 dollars, but it's on sale for 20 percent off right now if you're watching this video video later so sorry charlie sales over on august 15 2021 i have people who watch my old videos when i talk about the sale I'm like can you honor that sale from that 2016 video no bitch we're not gonna do that every august is the anniversary sale so get back to it next august okay let's see um that shit works wonders just bought it it does work buy it under eye creams don't work this shit does it's so good game changer so for those of you who can't see these comments later this is what the the peoples are saying the jkc tribe next morning you wake up and you can tell the difference i hear that over and over and over i do have um i'm gonna get to the sunscreens in a minute but i do have a couple more products that i want to go over and that is the lip scrub and the lip dew so lip dew is one of the original products that i came out with in the line it used to have sunscreen in it it does not have sunscreen in it anymore i get asked that a lot reason being is the sunscreen was compromising the product in high heat so if you put it between your boobs at the gym or for a run or left in your car the whole thing was melted and they were breaking off so we took the sunscreen out but it still does have the vitamin c center this is the original lip dew it's clear right but we have different tints so you can't see anything it looks electric orange but it's not um, one of our best selling tints is the japanese magnolia here she is japanese magnolia it looks good on everybody it has a tint of like a mauvey pink can y'all see that it's amazing if you're tan or darker skin, like medium to dark or dark, Dahlia looks amazing. And Marigold, if you're like that Brazilian tan skin tone, Marigold looks really good on your tone. I have an old classic here. Actually, this is probably expired. 
this one still has sunscreen in it. <laughs> this is Rosie. Love Rosie. Look at the Rosie. Not good for all skin tones, but if you have light to fair, it's such a pretty sheer pink. Um, Amber did take some photos of her own lips. She does have kind of pinky lips um, of all the lip dews worn alone on the website. So the second photo on all the lip dews will show you what they look like on. But if you live in a climate like Arizona, Colorado, Wyoming, that it's very, very dry, and you, or you're like me, and you pick at dry pieces on your lips. I'm an eyebrow picker and a lip picker. I don't bite nails, but those are the other things I do. You're going to be obsessed with the lip scrub. So the lip scrub has rosemary oil and vanilla in it. It feels so good, and it's got sugar. So you put it on with a Q-tip, rubbing your lips really, really good, and it takes all those dead, crusty flakes off of your lip. Men or women can use this. The smell and the taste is amazing. Love that stuff. Okay, so I think we've discussed all the JKC skincare. I don't think I missed anything. Let me know if I did. Everybody is blowing up about the lip do. Dahlia is her favorite. That's Evelyn. We have Jolly Sue. She loves the lip do. We have Healthy Latin Chick. She loves the Japanese Magnolia. Okay. Let's talk about sunscreen. I've got a couple of different ones. This one is a little bit new to me. Elta MD just gifted me this because they love me so much. Um, anyway, this one I'm really loving, but my favorite is the Broad Spectrum. So it looks a little dirty, sorry gross. This little guy is not as much coverage as our tinted primer, so it's not a makeup product. Um, it's very, very sheer. It's a one size fits all color. So if you're really, really fair, I would not go for this. Um, and if you're really dark, I probably wouldn't go with it either. But if you're kind of like a, a light to medium to dark, this is great. Otherwise, it's going to look ashy if you're dark and it's going to look orange if you're really, really fair or porcelain skin tone. They do have clear options like this one too. So when I'm not tanning at all, no spray tan, I use this guy. Um, but I love this one for the summer. It's got a really, really pretty whipped texture and it stays on. This is the uh, Broad Spectrum UV Elements in the tube. It's a moisturizing facial sunscreen with hyaluronic acid and it's UVA UVB protection. It's water resistant. They have this version and a tinted version as well. This is the clear. Okay. So this is still called, this is kind of confusing, but listen up. UV clear means clear skin. Think clear skin, not clear color, because this comes in a white, which is clear, or a tinted version. They have another one called UV daily, which comes in the two versions, tinted and untinted as well. But this is the one that's good for acne prone skin. Um, and then the other one, I think the UV daily is the one that does more re re rosacea. But don't quote me on that. I can't remember. Like I said, they just gifted me this and I'm loving it. I love the smell. It feels really like fresh and clean. It doesn't give you white face. Anyway, love L to MD. Um, Y'all need to check it out. BCRN sells it on their website. So bcrnesthetics.com or you can come into either JKC locations and BCRN sells it inside there too. Okay, it looks like you guys don't have too many more questions. Um, if you do have a question, you better throw it up there now because I'm about to end the video. But I think I covered everything. And like I said, the full line, we do not test on animals, we test on humans. Um, it's organic, we use organic oils in our stuff. It is paraben free, we don't use preservatives in any of our things. Fragrance free, what am I forgetting? Free, except for free price wise. Yeah, that's right. Um, UV Daily is for rosacea. Thank you, whoever just said that. So I was right about that. So the UV Daily is the one that's for rosacea. But like I said, this is the one they gifted me and I'm liking it. So maybe I'll try the one for rosacea next time. They have body sunscreens, they have aerosols, they have the whole shebang. Okay, Babe Lash. Okay, someone just asked about Babe Lash. Let's go ahead and add this to the video. So Babe Lash is the growth serum. Um, I used to use New Lash. I love New Lash. Used it for years and years when I worked at Neiman's. I would sell them out all the time so they were giving me free product. When I quit working at Neiman's, I was like, I can't afford $150 being like a freelance makeup artist on a freaking lash serum. That was like my freaking electric bill. So I started buying it on Amazon. Then I bought a fake one on Amazon and my freaking eyelashes fell out. So I posted the picture yesterday. Look for the Babe Lash uh, post that I made, um, which was... If, this, if you're watching this video later, I posted it on August 11th, 2021. Um, so you can scroll through my feed and find it. I had chunks of eyelashes missing. And when I looked at one of these little magnifying mirrors like this, I counted 16 holes where eyelashes fell out. So I was trying to regrow them, didn't really know what to do or what had happened. Um, but that's why I don't recommend buying like some of these beauty products on Amazon. If it's from Amazon, it's fine, I'm sure. But when you're buying from these third-party vendors, you don't know 
what you're getting. I bought fake eyelash glue from China one time and it smelled like cat pee, so be careful. Anyway, I went to do this wedding in Austin for this girl named Jennifer and one of her bridesmaids had the most beautiful lashes, but she didn't have redness around her skin. So that is a side effect of using these lash serums is really, really red skin around the eye. And so I was like, okay, what are you doing? Because I know you're using lash serum, but you don't have redness in your skin. She goes, babe lash girl. I was like, babe lash. I was like, is that like Rodin and Fields Lash Boost? And she's like, kind of, but not as irritating. I had tried Lash Boost because I saw great results on my clients. I'm sensitive. I couldn't use it. My eyes swelled shut. I waited two weeks for my eyes to heal, go back to normal, and I tried it again thinking like a control test experiment. I'm not going to try anything else. I tried it and it happened again. So that was just my experience with that. Um, the only ones I've ever really been able to use without side effects is New Lash and then the Babe Lash. So I bought it. I was like, holy shit, this stuff works so good. Within two weeks, my eyelashes were like, all filled in. It's amazing how fast your eyelashes grow back. Um, so within two weeks, I had like, you know, little like half inch hairs. And then after a month, I was like, oh my God, this works better than new lash. And then after three months, they were touching my eyebrows and my mom, God rest her soul, was like, honey, the eyelashes look stupid because they touch in your eyebrows. So I had to take it down a notch. So now I use it about four to five days a week just to kind of keep me on, um, on the routine. And if I go two or three weeks, they go back to normal. And I have really shitty, pathetic lashes. So for my eyelashes to look like this is kind of a big deal because I was not born with good hair. I have to have a weave and fake eyelashes. So there is the Babe Lash Serum. It's normally $65. It's on sale right now. And then that is the three-month supply. Or there is the double the size uh, six, sorry, four ml. And it's a six-month supply. That one's 120. Um, like I said, it's our anniversary sale right now. So they're 20% off. This little guy is a newer product. Um, it's called the Babe Lash Conditioner. The difference in these is this one, different ingredients. This one makes them grow thicker and makes the hair turn darker. This is a growth serum, makes them longer. So if they've fallen out, you've gone through chemo, I've had a lot of customers come in and say after chemo, they started using this and their eyelashes grew back really fast. You can also put it on your eyebrows, but I will say on your eyelashes, it's two to four weeks to see results. On your eyebrows, it took me a full six week, but I grew in my little sperm brow with this stuff. This one, I don't use that often. I kind of forget or I sit in my makeup a lot if I'm being really honest with you. Um, but they say to use this one at night and this one at the morning and kind of rotate them. Um, I use this every morning. It doesn't really matter if you use it morning and night, it works both ways. Um, you don't have to use both, but anyway. I think the uh, ser the conditioner is like 45. And the company was sold out for a long, long time and they just got it back in. They had some manufacturing hiccups. But anyways, after trying it, my customer told me about it, I called Babe Lash and I'm like, okay, I need to sell this shit at my salon. Will you please sell it to me? So now we are an authorized dealer for your crack, your lash crack. Let's see what else you guys have to say. Uh, well, the eye balm calls cause milia. Milia is, um, you know, I don't really know what milia is. You have to ask your dermatologist how you get those. I've heard different things, but overabundance of like oil production, um, you know, that's those are so deep in the skin. I don't, I mean, I don't want to tell you no and then you get it. I don't know, but I don't have milia. I had one here that Dr. Um, Cho removed, but I haven't had anyone complain about that. Um, let's see what else. Okay, I had to get on the call and missed it. Don't worry. This is going to be all on the IGTV in a minute. You can put the balm. Someone's asking, can you put it all over your eyelid too? Yes. And I love it so much that one day I put it all over my face to see what happened and I broke out. So don't put it down here. Um, I'm running out kind of fast. Okay, so if you're running out of the eye balm in faster than 90 days, you're using too much. I'm going to show you how much to use. Let me get a Q-tip. The bombshell, it's literally the tiniest little drop. And I think you guys get crazy with this um, cheese whiz on your skincare. Look how much I get. You see how much is on there? See that? That's all you need. That'll cover both eyes. That tiny little drop is enough for both eyes. And if you use it every night, it should be 90 days. So can you see, I don't know if you can see the lube on my hand. Once you rub it in like this, it starts breaking down and melting. And I put it here. I do it here and then I blink into it for my eyelashes and I rub the rest on my eyebrows. So yes, someone in your household is probably using your shit if you're going through it faster than 90 days. Okay, I think that's it. And this live video is so long now. I hope it saves as an IGTV. If not, I will edit it and put it up later. So thank you guys for watching. I know you're going to love my skincare if you don't already try it. So you're welcome in advance. And if you want to check it out, it's all available on our app or our website. Very affordable. Our stuff in the skincare line ranges from the lip dew is 26. 
um, lip scrub is I think like maybe 29 or 30. I should know my prices, but I don't. And then all of the, the black and chrome stuff ranges from 34 to 62. The moisturizers are 62. So very affordable. You don't need to buy big name brands thinking they're going to work better because it says, I don't know, Chanel. And they told you that there's, it has vanilla plantifolia that grows on the side of a mountain in Mad Madagascar that they harvest at 3:46 AM for the optimal results. And it's $800. Bitch, get some Botox for $800. Go see Brie at BCRN. If you want to see major results with your skin, do what I do. Paralyze your whole face with, with Dysport and then it won't move. And then the wrinkles are guaranteed to be gone. Don't waste money on lotions and potions that promise those plastic surgery type results. Just go put needles in your face. Okay. And people say, I don't want to put things foreign in my body. Well, guess what? Everybody does it. Maybe they don't tell you they do it. So we're all going to die together. So it's fine. It's fine. You don't be the last one living because everybody else put Botox in their face. Totally kidding for those of you guys who don't get the jokes. Anyway, so I've been doing Botox for 10 years. I started when I was 30 and I have no wrinkles here. Um, and before I started, I had those big, huge grandpa folds here and really, really dry crow's feet here and here. So I get Botox all around my eyes, my bunny lines, and I get it on my chin too for the orange peel chin. And Brie just did me last week, so it's kicked in. So I have like that. And then I get filler on my lips. Filler here, I did PRP here. Anyway, my whole face is fake, but I'm 40. I don't look too bad for an old bitch. All the rest of the skincare is daily maintenance. So wear your sunscreen, get your vitamin C's, do your retinols and Botox the rest. Okay, thanks for watching, bye.